Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. I am currently 33 weeks pregnant and I have my hospital bags here packed for the hospital. Um, a lot of people start packing in the third trimester sometime, but some people even do it before then if they feel like it. I have two pillows here. Um, they're just sitting on top of the bags. We went to a birthing class at the hospital and um, the person that was giving the instruction basically was like, you should really bring your own pillows because our pillows suck. So <laughs> we have these two pillows, um, one for each of us. And then we have basically just two carry-on size bags. This is my husband's bag, this is my bag, and we have space for baby things in these bags too. The reason that we've filled up two bags pretty easily is because um, in this bag we have some blankets. I have been in the hospital obviously a million times for a million different reasons, for getting chemo where I've just been there all day and I've had other surgeries in the hospital. I've never had to stay overnight in the hospital before, but I know just from having surgeries and all kinds of things how bad their blankets are. I mean, they give you blankets as much as you want, they try to keep them warm, but they're not good. I've watched a bunch of videos of people packing their hospital bags for labor and everybody includes pillows, but no one really includes blankets and I don't know why. I get cold really easily and it's gonna be December in Alaska, so I just figured more blankets are good. On the other side of the suitcase, I have all of Gray's things. I put in these cheap flip-flops that he doesn't really ever wear. I just figured he might want to have something really easy to throw on if he's just walking around the hospital or the hospital room. I've seen it recommended a million times to get extra long chargers. So this is an iPhone charger um, and it's like a 10 foot long charger. I got him dip a bunch of different types of socks. So I got him some fuzzy socks and then I got him some wool socks because he's been wearing wool socks basically every day but I didn't want to take two of them because I didn't want them to just be stuck in here and him not to be able to wear them every day so I have just like some regular socks also that I put in here that he doesn't really ever wear but if he needs more socks then he has them. I have two pairs of underwear. I have two t-shirts because that's typically what he wears. I have a sweatshirt here for him but it's one, again, that he doesn't really wear super often, so he won't miss it while it's in here. Pajamas for him. Again, these are not his favorite pair of pajamas, but they are some. <laughs> his bathroom bag is here. This is just the bathroom bag that he always uses uh, for all trips. I think that this has both of our toothbrushes and toothpaste in here. I have deodorant for him and um, chapstick for him. There's also some Tylenol. I saw it recommended that um, you pack Tylenol for your husband just in case they kind of like start to get a headache from being under the hospital lights for a long time if you have a long labor because the hospital will give me anything that I need but not him because he's not the patient. Oh, we also have a book for entertainment if he wants to read something if for some reason things take a really, really long time. And that is everything that I have for my husband and some of my things too. Now we're moving on to my bag. My bag also has the stuff for the baby in it because my bag is obviously way less full because it does not have the whole like blanket situation going on. <laughs> So for the baby, I basically have everything in here, this plastic bag. Didn't really bring that much stuff for her, but there is stuff. We have two outfits for her. Um, the nurse at the birthing class said that you should bring two because sometimes, you know, when you're taking your baby home, they'll have like a blowout or something and then you end up needing a second outfit. So we have this cute pink one. The other outfit is this one. This one is a onesie and this one is a gown and they both have little hats that go with them. I also brought this, this sweatshirt for her, just because I know it's going to be freezing and I don't know like what kinds of things we're gonna want for her. Other thing I have is this newborn hat and mittens, just in case she needs like more warmth than the little thin hats that come with the outfits. I have a pacifier in here, just in case. I know that the hospital probably has pacifiers. And then just a swaddle blanket in here. And then the only other thing that we have for the baby is this little moose toy. Um, basically ever since we found out we were pregnant and we were moving to Alaska, Gray wanted to get a little moose toy for our baby girl to have. 
Um, since we've gotten to Alaska, we've seen tons of moose, so it's an appropriate Alaska toy. Another thing I have in here is a tennis ball. The birthing class we went to gave us some strategies to help reduce labor pain, and one of them it included a tennis ball. No idea if we're actually going to do that or not. I have a 10 foot long charger for me. I have two nursing bras. This one I've actually been wearing all the time. I have two of them, so one is in here and one I wear. They're just super comfortable. They are nursing bras, but they're really like nice for sleeping in stuff too. And then this one is kind of a more traditional nursing bra that kind of that has like the clips that you can like unhook and then like the cup comes down and all of that. I have two pairs of underwear in here but I do not know if I will use them because I'll probably just be wearing whatever the hospital gives me in terms of that after I give birth. Um, but you know just in case and they don't doesn't take up space. I have an extra hairbrush so I threw that in here. I have a lot of different options for socks so I'm a person that loves fuzzy socks, but I know a lot of time in the hospital because of just other things that I've done, they want you to have socks that have like the grips on the bottom of them. So I have these ones. These are super thick and super warm. They're kind of like slippers almost, and they have the grips on the bottom of them. I have these that are more like normal fuzzy socks, also have the grips on the bottom of them. Same with these. I wear these like all the time. And these are just like some regular wool socks. They're just all warm socks because I know myself and I know that I'm gonna want warm socks. A lot of people said that they didn't want warm socks, that they wanted thin socks because they like sweat a lot. I have some regular socks too, but I just know myself and I know I'm going to want warm socks. <laughs> if not during the birth, then afterwards at least. The other thing that I have in this bag is snacks. So basically just have two packs of these peanut butter crackers and two packs of fruit snacks and then gray wanted me to throw in this pack of red bull just in case like it's in the middle of the night and he needs to stay up i am obviously not going to be drinking this because i cannot handle caffeine like this it's awful to me i have this really cheap pair of flip-flops for myself if I want to take a shower in the hospital, I'll use these as shower shoes also. This is a bathroom bag for me. My toothbrush is already in Gray's bag, like I said. But I basically just have my regular bathroom stuff in here. I actually have an extra inhaler because this is almost out of puffs. But then my prescription got filled before I ran out of puffs. So I put the extra puff one in here so I don't have to worry about bringing the other inhaler. I have contacts. Um, I have some shampoo and conditioner. I have some eye drops because my eyes are always dry, so I have some extra eye drops in there. And I have some shower oil. Basically, all these things are like little travel size containers uh, that I normally bring on trips. And I have some lotion. I also have some hair ties in here in case I want to do something with my hair. This button-up flannel shirt. This is actually gray shirt, but I stole it a long time ago when I was going through cancer treatment. <laughs> um, I use it a lot in the hospitals because there's so many times where I've had procedures where I can't really lift my arms up, but this shirt is like super long. It like goes way down past my butt and everything, so it's basically like another robe, um, and it would be really helpful for like breastfeeding and stuff if I can unbutton. I've got these pajamas. I might not wear these in there because I might be afraid to get them dirty because I really like these pajamas. I might just wear the pajama shirt because it has the buttons. And so then I brought these pants that they're they're nice pajama pants, but they're not as awesome as these other ones that I really love. So um, I'll probably actually wear these pajama pants and then like the button up pajama shirt. Even though they don't match, it's fine. Here are the regular socks I was talking about that I had. <laughs> I have this pair of leggings in here. I actually haven't checked to see if these still fit me but they still fit me like a couple weeks ago, so I assume after I have the baby they will still fit me. I don't know if leggings are gonna be the thing that I'll wanna wear or if I'd rather wear pajama pants or sweatpants. So that's the other thing is I also have these sweatpants. This is the outfit that I really wanna wear on my way home. This is actually something that I bought new for myself. It's really the only thing that I bought new for myself out of all of this stuff. Um, it's this outfit from Target. I think I saw somebody else recommend it as a good outfit for in the hospital. They're just really, really soft. And um, it also has a sweatshirt. These are not maternity or anything. I just got these in a size up from what I normally wear. So I think 
this is a large sweatshirt top and then the sweatpants are medium. And then the only other thing that I have in this bag is this, which is just a laundry bag and it's always in the suitcase. The nursing bras I did buy new too, obviously, because I did not own any nursing bras. So those are also from Target and I will link the stuff that I got from Target in the description. Oh, and then the only other thing that I have in here is a folder. I just thought that we might be getting some papers and stuff from the hospital because every time I've ever gone to the hospital, whenever you have a procedure or anything, they always give you a bunch of papers to take home. So I just figured if we end up having papers or if we, you know, have any things for the baby or anything, you can just put it in this folder really easily. And that is everything I have in my bag. There is one more thing that I would add in here that I haven't done yet, and that is a bathing suit because um, I might want to get in the bathtub at some point and want to be covered up. I recognize I probably don't need all of this stuff and if we were packing in just one bag I'd probably condense that down but since I had room and space I added a few extra things like extra shirts and stuff um, that I might not really need but they'll be nice to have. Basically we just have both of these bags sitting the door to the nursery and the pillows were on top of them like you saw. The other thing that we have stacked next to it is our baby's car seat. And this is just another blanket that actually came with the moose. <laughs> um, but that I figured that depending on how cold it is, we can like throw it on top of her. Gray's probably going to try to install this car seat in the car, um, the base of it, because this is one that you take out of a base before I go into labor. And um, so we'll just have the carrier up here and we'll just grab that on the way to the hospital. And yeah, that's basically everything I have for this video. That's everything that we are packing for the hospital, except for the bathing suit, like I said. I'm sure next time I'll have a baby, I'll know more about what I actually want to have in the hospital and we'll do a better job of packing my hospital bag. But as a first time mom, I guess that's what I decided to put in the hospital bag. So hopefully it works out well enough. Yep. So check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you want. Yeah, that's all. Bye.